Hi guys, welcome again. Um, here is uh, a small project I made uh, to recharge my uh, what's this 12 volt uh, battery pack. Yeah, it seems to be working well, although, as I said, with the rechargeables, they don't really go up to 12 volts and the uh, maximum I was able to get was 11.42 volts on this but it works fine for my for my other projects uh, especially the ones uh, if you've been following my video I've been using this battery pack although I do have the 6 volt here and the 12 volt over there this one is easier to put inside the case rather than those two anyway this is a 6 cell solar panel which I've assembled um, and I place it in a sturdy um, case epoxied it uh, to it so it won't, won't come off using just JB weld and of course uh, this is the connector for my battery pack over here and uh, there's my connectors what what's important here is there should be a diode uh, from the solar cell and there should also be a diode going in to the battery pack because uh, once the daylight or there's no more Sun uh, the solar cells have a penchant for uh, sucking up the power that it placed into the battery pack okay um, if you will see some videos YouTube videos people who buy solar panels they do put a diode here in my case I put two one going into the circuit which I will talk about later and one going into the battery pack just to make sure now this one is just a replication of uh, a 555 uh, timer based uh, solar charger as you can see there's a red diode here and there's a green diode here plus two momentary push buttons here uh, I will post the link to that uh, particular uh, site as this is only a replication and you will see here a relay uh, 7805 and an IRF 540 and a small uh, 2N3094 and there's your 555 timer basically works is that when uh, the Sun hits the solar panels the red light uh, light turns on um, you do need to uh, adjust this based on what the uh, original uh, author uh, on the required uh, voltage uh, by the 555 to turn it on at 10.9 volts and uh, if the solar panel which doesn't really go all the way up to 15.4 uh, volts with the load uh, the green if it goes over that one will just dump the dump the excess when the relay just clicks to the other side and there's nothing on that part of the relay actually uh, or if you want a dummy load for the testing for the turbine uh, the, the author uh, uh, said that if you use a car relay uh, this solar charge controller is capable up to 40 amps uh, right now this is only in the milliamps so I'm not too worried about uh, this particular circuit overheating right now it does charge the battery pack but uh, it takes quite some time I've tried to discharge it all the way down to 9 volts and it brought it up to 11.4 at the moment uh, this was the whole day actually so uh, it should go higher if I recharge it again tomorrow so right now I'm using the other batteries for some other 
tests. But then again, there's your uh, solar charge controller, which I replicated. And of course, don't forget the diodes over here. One, as, it, as the voltage from the solar panel goes in, and one, as the voltage goes in to the battery pack. All right, um, hope I, I don't forget to post the link on that. Have a nice day.